Now we'll see how to convert open chain form of monosaccharide or open chain structure into cyclic monosaccharide which is also called Havert form of monosaccharide. For this uh, consideration, for this conversion, to understand this conversion, we have to consider one example that is glucose. Now glucose is written here in the open chain form where you can see hydroxyl group, you can see CHO group, hydroxyl group present at third carbon is toward the left hand side and all other hydroxyl groups are toward the right hand side. When we show, when we draw the glucose in this form, you first of all try to understand the projection of hydroxyl and hydrogen. Now, this is a simple line you can see here. This simple line and carbon are in one plane. Hydroxyl group which is shown by broad wedge is actually projecting above this plane. Suppose this board is a plane. So all these carbons are on the plane and hydroxyl group projecting above the plane. This hydrogen is also projecting above the plane. The, that is the meaning of these broad wedges. Now see, once it is done, if you see, uh, if you want to form, if you want to convert this into the cyclic monosaccharide, you have to select the hydroxyl group which is present either at 4th carbon or 5th carbon. If you select the hydroxyl group present at 4th carbon, you will get furanose form, which we have seen in previous video. And if you select the hydroxyl group present at 5th carbon, we get pyranose form. Pyranose form is a 6 membered ring and furanose form is a 5 membered ring. So, 5 membered ring, instead of 5 membered ring, 6 membered ring is more stable. So, according to stability, glucose prefers pyranose form. So because of this, we will consider only pyranose form. Now you can see here hydroxyl group present at carbon number 5. So that I will change the color of that hydroxyl group. This hydroxyl group we need for the reaction. But you know, there is intramolecular reaction to form hemiacetal. So this oxygen and this carbonyl carbon must lie in one plane. But in this structure, you can see this hydroxyl group projecting above this plane and carbon is here on this plane. So that reaction is not possible. So when it is possible, when this hydroxyl will group will come on this horizontal line or at the place of this carbon. So if, if we bring this OH here, then and then only this reaction is possible. Then how to do that? Actually, that rotation is always going on between the carbon-carbon single bond. You can see here, rotation is not restricted. Now see, if you consider the open chain structure. Now, how to bring this OH at the position of 6, you, 6 carbon? So you can do this by just changing its position. You bring OH at the position of here. This will go at the position of here and this H will take the position of OH. If you do this kind of exchange, of all atoms or groups present at this chiral carbon, then and then only you can keep the configuration intact. So you have to do, you can bring that OH here only by just doing these operations. So if you want to bring OH here, you bring this group, whatever group is here, at this position and this will go here. So then and then only you can keep the configuration as it is, which is shown here. Now OH is taking this its new position, this CH2OH is coming here and H is going at the position of OH. Now we want this OH. Now this means what actually this is a Fisher projection formula and you know in Fisher projection formula we draw one vertical line and all horizontal lines and at the point of intersection of two lines there is a chiral carbon. So these one, two, three, four chiral carbons there. So this is a Fisher projection formula for glucose or D-glucose. Now see, uh, we want to form a 5-membered ring and that 5-membered ring must be a planar ring, 5-membered ring. So if you remember, if you have seen my previous video where I explain how hemiacetal is formed, so you please watch that video first before you watch this video. 
then you can understand this uh, conversion so easily now you have to twist this however uh, twist this feature projection formula into this format twist it bring all carbons and hydroxyl group on one plane on one line and in fact this eh and oh are line just like this above and below or projecting above the or projecting away from the plane now this cho if you bring here you just do one thing don't attach all these groups at the beginning you just draw this kind of structure C CHO here make bend this here then here then here and here this is your fifth carbon so this carbon is a fifth carbon this carbon is your fifth carbon now you draw vertical lines at each bend I mean here at each corner here 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 and here now very simple thing those group which are lying toward the left so we can say here it is left our left our right sorry our right our right and this is our left so whatever groups are toward right hand side they will go down and whatever groups are there toward our left hand side they will go up just very very simple consideration now accordingly this is our first carbon now this is our first carbon i will give the number 2 3 4 and 5 now look at the carbon number 1 which is a carbonyl carbon which is in the plane now move toward the carbon number 2 i can given give the number even to this structure 4 and 5 to understand now you see here at the carbon number 2 one line is drawn that is this line and as i mentioned the group which are toward right hand side will go down so obviously this oh will go down and h will come first uh, go up now look at the carbon number three which is this one oh toward left hand side it will go up and h toward right hand side it will go down at fourth carbon h is toward right hand uh, left hand side will go up go up and oh toward right hand side will go down fifth position means here h will go down down and this group ch2h will go up and oh is on the plane because all these groups all these carbons along with hydrogen hydroxyl group these are on the plane now they are in one plane you can do that intramolecular reaction and you will get here new stereogenic center or hemiacetyl carbon or anomeric carbon and two stereoisomers with these two stereoisomers are identical only there is change in the position of OH group in one structure OH will go up and in another structure OH will go down so just like that otherwise all remaining groups you can watch here are toward the same side now once that bond is formed add the anomeric carbon so this carbon one is anomeric carbon which is also called hemiacetyl carbon this anomeric carbon you have to draw one line and this is the anomeric carbon and you have drawn that line here which i have shown by using a red line now you have to change the position of oh just do that oh here in this structure oh is down and in this structure oh is up the rest of the you can see the arrangement of all other items or groups it is identical so there is no change so now see uh, only change is uh, you can see here configuration of or the arrangement of OH only at the carbon number one is different so if this 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 structure this have a structure this cyclic form is called alpha since all these are D so this is alpha D glucose and this is beta D glucose now one more thing I want to add here which is very important this have a formula where the hydroxyl group present at carbon number one here which is here and this CH2OH group you check the positions CH2OH and OH if they are trans if they are trans if they are away from each other then that isomer is called alpha isomer and if they are cis means toward same side of this ring they are called beta you remember cis means beta and trans means alpha so this is alpha D glucose. This is actual nomenclature. Alpha D glucose. Since this is alpha anomer, because OH is trans to CH2OH, alpha anomer, 
and this is called beta anomer because CH2H and OH are toward the same side. One more name you can say or you can give to this compound that is alpha D glucopyranose. Why we call it as pyranose? Because six membered ring. If you draw four membered ring, that will be alpha D glucofuranose. So similarly, it is beta D glucopyranose because six membered ring. And if you draw four membered ring, that will be beta D glucofuranose. You can try four membered ring by considering this OH. By considering this OH. So in that case, you have to bring this OH at this position C. Okay. So if uh, this OH will come here and this whole group, this whole group will come at the position of hydrogen and hydrogen will take the position of OH. Just like that, just go ahead, draw instead of 5, you can draw 4 membered ring and that will be furano structure. That will be furano structure. So we will see how that furano stru structure is formed in next video. Thank you so much.